Hi everyone, I'm your host, J.B. Wachowski. Welcome to the shortstorypodcast.com, where you can hear a fast-paced short story and get a quick writing tip afterward. Episode 14, Ten Little Spacemen. One day, we will start colonizing other planets and discover life forms far different than our own. Unfortunately, not all life forms will be friendly. So let's find out what happens in today's story. Landing on the planet Philodendria, Captain Janet Lofton and her squad of nine soldiers discovered the planet was an uninhabited, lush, green, jungle-like world. Checking the life form scanners, she commented, Hmm, according to our sensors, this world is devoid of any large animals like us, just small rodents and bugs. Once outside the lander, Captain Lofton displayed the 3D tactical map of the area for their work assignments. She pointed out their work locations. Peters, Johnson, to be safe, set up the perimeter security devices out one click. Here are the coordinates to place them at. She continued, the rest of you, clear out the center ground and trees. Secure and expand the area around our lander. We need to clear an area the size of two football fields. The first cargo transport to land with the heavy equipment to build the base. Her nine-man squad unloaded their powerful portable equipment and began to hack back and mulch the lush undergrowth from around the landing area. Within a few hours, a sizable area was cleared for use. Captain Lofman radioed each crew member for a quick status report. However, she quickly discovered the two sent to secure the perimeter did not reply. She radio broadcast, Does anyone have a visual on Peters or Johnson? Double checking the tactical display, she could not get a visual or find the heat signatures of the two missing soldiers. However, as the captain watched the screen, the heat signatures of two of the soldiers clearing the area suddenly vanished. She radioed the squad, Everyone, back to the lander. That's an order! Again, the captain scanned the entire area. Puzzled, she saw just two remaining heat signatures of her squad members, Miller and Myers. Then, right before your eyes, Miller vanished, and the last squad member, Myers, started running back to their landing craft through the jungle. She heard a scream. Looking up, she saw Myers running out of the dense undergrowth. But just before he reached the clearing, a large tree branch with what looked like the head of a lion bowed down opening its mouth, swallowing him whole. And then it sprang back up into position. Lofton gasped as a vine snapped around her ankle, breaking it and stunning her. She could not catch her breath enough to scream as she was violently dragged across the clearing into the jungle to her doom. So if you ever end up on another planet, you better be careful of the undergrowth. The end. Today's quick writing tip. I come across too many short stories that are just dialogue, and often these stories are one long argumentative diatribe between two or more people. However, to make the word count, after the first line, many writers do not identify who is speaking, nor who said what. Please use dialogue sparingly to set up scenes, enhance story actions, and to help end your story. Well, I hope this writing tip helps you. Okay, that's a wrap. Thank you for listening to this episode of the shortstorypodcast.com. So you don't miss out on an episode, please take a moment to subscribe to the show and leave a nice review. Thank you for listening and have a great day.